Hello, welcome to Five Alarm Gun Works. I'm Glade, and today we are going to be taking apart a bolt carrier group and bolt. This one is a 308 style, AR-10 style. The 15s are almost identical to the way you take them apart, so we'll get started. First off, we'll take the cotter pin out. A lot of your 10s will have just a pin here. Uh, your 15s will have the cotter pin, so we'll take your cotter pin out. Come just right out the side here and set that aside. Next, just kind of tip it upside down. Take your firing pin out, set that aside. Slide your bolt back so that your cam pin is able to get out. Um, some of them, they'll spin around. You have to get the flat to your, your carrier. So set that aside. And, and then just at this time, just pull your bolt straight out. When I do that, I want to make sure that your carrier key is tight and staked. And this one is very tight because it's brand new. So we'll set that aside. Now, here's your bolt. Pretty simple. We're going to be taking apart your extractor out first and then the ejector out. So what you want to do is just kind of set this aside to take your extractor out. Drive this out from top to bottom. Extract the pin. And your extractor comes out just like that. Make sure you don't lose your O-ring or that spring on there. So set that aside. And with it, your pin. I'll take you over to my vise. For a 15, I have a real avid jig to do this, but this I built for uh, doing 10s. 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, etc. Um, it's kind of crude, and <laughs> but it, it works for me. So you'll want to, you'll need to compress your ejector and your pin comes out top to bottom. Compress that just a little bit. Drag your pin out from top to bottom. And I'll show you in just a second. The top hole is a bit smaller than the bottom part of it. So just tap your pin out. There's your roll pin. Now I just take out your ejector and ejector spring. Come right out. Now we'll set those three aside. So Here's your bolt pretty much torn apart. I didn't take the rings off because this is a brand new bolt. Um, you just want to make sure that your the notches or the gaps, I guess you could say, in each one of your rings are not lined up to each other because then you'll have gas escape. Just make sure that they're away from each other fairly well. Now to put this back together, I uh, <clears throat> again, if you saw some of my other videos, I like to use grease rather than oil on stuff like this so just just a very little bit of grease get on your fingers roll on your spring put your spring in take your ejector a little bit of grease on that pop that in there and we'll go back over to the the vise Kind of love my little rudimentary kind of jerry-rigged device here, but 
it's worked well for me. And just make sure you compress that in. And this goes back in. And I told you I was going to show this. So your hole on, on the bottom here is bigger than the top. So that's where you want to go when you drive it back in from bottom to top. Get my starter punch. Get that started. And drive this down in. just below the surface or a little bit more. Now that I've got that captured, give it a little bit stronger point to drive through. take another purchase and then just double check make sure that your pin is not sticking out on either side both of them are below flush and then I always like to take a punch and press that in and make sure it's functioning properly so and that's got a lot of pressure on them Alrighty. Now to put your extractor back in, pretty simple. I like to just kind of set that on my block here, and then take your extractor. And like I said, make sure you don't lose that O-ring. A um, little bit of grease on the O-ring, all the surfaces that are going to be moving. And this one isn't, they're not, this spring isn't too stiff. And so basically you can just line your hole up, use both fingers or both thumbs, and then press that down in. And if you need to finish that, again, just kind of tap it down in to just below the surface. You'll notice on both sides that So my pin is just below the surface on both of those. Nothing is sticking out. So that'll work just fine. Now we're going to put the bolt back in our carrier. A bit of grease. And on your rings. Now at this point you're going to want to make sure that when you line this up, your extractor is on the right side. And slide that in. Now we get the pin back in here. First off, get a little bit of grease on that. Now this was a brand new bolt and I like to take them apart even when they're brand new because they have some packing grease, oil, slash, <laughs> whatever's on it. And I like to make sure I clean them all down before I put it all back together again. Slide that in. Make sure that your the hole is facing front to back. And this is for your firing pin. Take your firing pin, a little bit of grease. Don't go up onto the 
actual striker, the pin itself, just on the, the shaft there. And another test to make sure that everything is tight and good. Make sure your, your, um, your rings are good and tight is just let that sit. If it falls, then you need new rings. This is, like I said, a brand new one. And so we're, we're doing well there. Make sure you slide that in. Firing pin in. Now, take your cotter pin, and these are a little bit difficult to put in. So I just, kind of, I just like to pinch those together. Start your cotter pin in. Press it in, make sure it's below the surface and everything is smooth. And then function it back and forth, make sure everything functions well. There you go, bolt carrier group, pretty simple. If you have any questions, comments, Please leave them for me. Uh, like I said, I'm new to this YouTube thing. So uh, <laughs> please let me know what you say. And uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, I would appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe, again, I appreciate that also. Um, have a great night.